Okay, a couple little things I want to finish up on here. I'll show you some different ways just on the final trimming out. First of all, um, on these little planes, the elevators, the rudder, these guys don't have a lot of pressure on them. So I, uh, I just simply take a hot glue, the horns on. It's fast, doesn't take much. And there it is. Now make sure in this case I've got to be careful of the way that it's not going to interfere with that elevator, but since most of it's up and very little of it's down, that'll be fine. And that horn is now on there. Now also you see that I'm going to have some problem with that maybe. If it's not in the right place, you can always just pull it back off. Give it a little bit more movement, but I think we'll be okay with that since I'm going to be using very little rudder on this thing anyway. Now, the next thing I want to show you, once you've got that done, is how to attach the control surfaces, the control rods themselves. Now, with these micro servos like this, they're very, very small and you have to get the right uh, size of rods. Otherwise, you have to drill them out. And I had to do that with some of the other ones because I'm Running a little short here with my fine wire, but a little bit of a trick. You've probably seen these stakes. You get these down at your hardware store. They're a bit thicker than the ones that uh, I'd like to use here, but since I'm running a little short on uh, my material, I saved my lightweight material for the back of the plane since I already know that I'm going to be uh, a little bit heavier on the back, and I'm going to have to move everything as far forward as I can. But when you take it through these small servos like that, since I don't have a clevis that I can use for that, I'm just going to dab a little bit of hot glue right there on the end, make sure that you don't interfere with the servo itself. But that'll keep it, and that way if I need to, I can always hot glue it, pull it right off of there. And it will stay. Now on the other end, because I don't have the same size of hole in my horn, I actually have a hole in my horn that will fit. So what I'm going to do, the clevis for that one, clamp it down, make sure you got good motion on it, a little bit tight there, back it off a little bit. I don't want any more resistance on my dang clevis than I've got on my hinges. I'm just going to pop that up just a little bit. That'll work. Then, do the same logic that I did on this other end right here. I'm going to align my elevator. I'm going to cut that just a little bit long. I'm going to go ahead and hit my hot glue right on the end of that. In fact, I think I'm probably going to put that on the inside so I don't catch myself with it. Small well, bead of that hot glue. And here's the trick on these elevators. First of all, I want to make sure that it's right, make sure it's got good enough. It's level, all's well. I've got about three quarters of an inch there. I'm just going to take my rod, I'm going to stick it right up through the nozzle, about three quarters of an inch. I'm going to grease gun this thing. Stick it right up inside that clevis now and pull it back where it's supposed to be and I'm going to let that sit for a second. I'd never do this on a very heavy airplane when it has a lot uh, larger control surfaces because the wind etc the shear on those things would just uh, loosen up my glue back in here. But for these plastic clevises are light the uh, you got very light airplane. You don't. You're not going to be moving at the high speeds that you would with the other ones, and that'll actually hold. And now, now that one's done. Bead of glue on that end. Hot glued into your clevis on that end. It's ready to go. Now I'll do the same thing on my other end. I need to take my lightweight wire. 
Very gently bend a 90 degree into it. Make sure that you got a 90 on these. On this one, actually, I've got to go in an excess of a 90. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing on this one, but I need a little bit of adjustment on this one. Um, my elevator, I can trim that out. I know that I'm going to be relatively close to flat on that one. But on your rudder, you need a little bit of, of adjustment. And rather than doing it with my trim, I want to be able to trim it out and make it fly straight and still have quite a bit of leeway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a kink in this one that I can adjust that on. Well, I bent myself a kink in there and so I can adjust that in or out depending on what I need here. I didn't feel like I needed it on that one, but I do feel like I need it on this one. And I've now got all my control surfaces functional. I did the same things to my wings, made sure that they flowed, made sure that they were in alignment, I glued those things there. They do have a little bit of take up there. I don't think I'll need it. I've got them straight here, and the rest of it I can do with my trim. Okay, I've got all my control surfaces hooked up now. They're not exactly where they need to be. Uh, some minor adjustments still on tucking some of the wires. I'll get to that. A little bit later before final assembly. The battery's not exactly where it needs to be, but I can now arm my motor. See the controls work. Throttle works. Rudder left and right. Works. Got plenty of travel. Looks like I might need to do a little bit of adjusting. Lengthen my control rod a little bit so that my adjustments work. Elevator works really, really well. It looks like it's, uh, I'll have to limit the amount that I've got down. I can do that with my software. And I've got my ailerons. Everything works. Lots of motion. Everything works. Everything looks like it's in good alignment still. So next thing all we've got to do, take it out and fly it. Now I'm actually going to put some... Uh, wheels on this. I've already got them cut, lined out. All I've got to do is put them on. Very similar idea. We'll locate them. That one goes over this side. Tilt outward. They're a matched pair. You can see where I'm going to put them. I'll hot glue them on. And next time you see this plane, we'll be on a ready for a flight test.